So in this video, I'm going to go over transformation of functions. So we looked at this topic a little earlier in the year, and I know a lot of you may have forgotten it, but I just want to demonstrate um, what happens when we add values to the domain or to the range and how that's going to change the function. Um, I'm going to start off with the absolute value of x. You can use any function you want. I'm just choosing this because the absolute value makes this nice little V shape, and it's going to make it very clear what's going on with the function. In your quiz, you're going to work with some linear functions or your pre-assessment, um, but I'm just using this as an example. All the same rules will apply. So suppose we take the absolute value of x and we add to it some constant k. And then I'm using decimal, so I'm going to just add a slider. And notice that when k is equal to 1, that function moved up vertically. Um, if I make k lower, so if I slide lower the k, you notice how the function is moving down. So subtracting a value or adding a negative value is going to cause the function to shift down. And when we increase the value, when it's positive, it moves up. So we notice that this constant k, or adding a constant at the end of a function, it's going to cause the function to move up or down vertically. So let's look at another case. What instead of adding k at the end of the function, I added it directly to x. So inside of the absolute value, I'm going to put plus, I'm going to call this h this time. So now I'm adding it directly to the x. I'm not adding it at the end of the function. Um, and notice that when h is equal to 1, my absolute value graph shifted to the left. And as I make it larger, it keeps shifting more and more to the left. And it shifts by this value of h. So this is a little opposite to what we were seeing before. And it seems somewhat opposite of what we should expect. Um, so adding a value to x actually makes it move to the left. And conversely, if we were to subtract a value, so if h were negative, um, it's going to make it move to the right. So this is a nice little way of transforming you know, a function. So we took a look at a couple of examples. Now let's suppose we wanted to compare two functions. So instead of h, I'm going to give it a value 3. So suppose I had x plus 3. And I wondered what will happen if instead of 3, I made this value x plus 1. So how are the two functions going to compare? So I'm going to type in x plus 1. And notice that x plus 3, this is my function in red. I have x plus 1, which is my function in blue. So by changing this 3 to a 1, I cause this function to move to the right. So, and another way about thinking about this function is I subtract it two, right, from this, um, from my domain essentially, from this value. So when I subtract it two on the inside, I ended up moving the function to the right. Well, what happens instead of subtracting two directly from the x, I decide to subtract two. So I still have x plus three. And I decided to subtract 2 on the outside, so at the end of the function. So if I compare the two, what just happened was I caused this function to move down vertically, which is similar to what we expected to see before. So if I compare these two functions, I'm going to notice that my blue function or my new function is just a shift downward um, of 2. So this is just a little play with functions. I encourage you to go to decimals.com. You can play around. You can add your own functions. You can use x squared if you don't want to use absolute value of x or any function you want. Um, but hopefully this will get you caught up and ready to take that quiz.